A lot is happening right now in the field of medical textiles. They are already providing regenerative or even functional assistance in the body as stents or vascular prostheses. Researchers at the Institute of Textile Technology at RWTH Aachen University know why certain textiles are particularly suitable as implants and what they should be capable of in the future. The human body is basically made out of fibers. We have muscle fibers, nervous fibers, but also ligaments and tendons. And therefore, textile structures are the basic structure that can be used to recover the human body. So textile implants are already used in clinical practice. Those work already fine. However, there are still complications that need to be solved. That is why new materials and structures are constantly on the research agenda, such as polymers for stents, which are intended to be able to adapt to the regeneration of body tissue. We're also doing research on um, metal structure stents, uh, which are made out of uh, nitinol. Nitinol is a shape memory alloy structure and uh, also can have a super elasticity. One of the special topics we're also doing research on is the patient individualization here, uh, especially regarding a vascular prosthesis. So what we do is we take uh, CT scans from the clinicians and their measurings and form a three-dimensional model out of this data and take these data and put them into machine data to produce individualized implants on the machine. One of the newest fields of research here at ITA is also the tissue engineering. What we do here is we try to um, form three-dimensional uh, structures as scaffolding for the tissue engineering. So what we do is we take these scaffolds and uh, cultivate them with stem cells to form uh, tissue, for example, uh, the heart tissue. Uh, for the heart tissue, one of the challenges is especially the vascularization, um, which is the uh, forming blood vessels inside our tissue. Here we are able to use the three-dimensional structures and give leading structures for this vascularization. The ITA is in direct exchange with industry and medicine. In order to take the next steps in the development of textile implants as close to practice as possible, one of the challenges for future implants are, for example, the usage of fine yarns that can be manufactured into very fine structures that then can be implemented to even more patients and then uh, take over the functions that are missing. Through the new developments in textile implants, they can be generated in such a way that they could be patient individualized or also in such a way that they degrade with time so that they do not need to be re uh, another surgery and that they dissolve as soon as the body has recovered itself.